All right, uh, Shalom. Shalom. All right, before we get started, we're going to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakodash. All right, double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect, the ones out there doing this work diligently and chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure. Uh, this is a continuation to um, the reading of Joshua. We're on chapter two right now, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. You got it, brother. This is Joshua chapter two, verse one. The heading is Rahab shelter spies. Mm. It says, and Joshua, the son of Nun, sent out of Shittim two men to spy secretly, saying, go view the land unto Jericho. And they went and came into the harlot's house named Rahab and lodged there. See, before we uh, find, you know, before we started this lesson, you know, we read over the book, you know, he's pointing out some things through the spirit, mm -hmm. which is quite interesting. Because when you look into the word Jericho, you know, it means moon. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the brother's going to read down, you know, it's ironic, it means moon. Because when you read, when you go down, it's going to explain how pretty much the spies sent out the sent at night to do a recon. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you look at Esau's military, you know, they do their recon since at night. Mm -hmm. You know, when the enemy, you know, least suspected. Because at night, what, you can move, you can blend in, you, you can, can hide, hide you, you know? And like right now, we're, we're, it's, it's like unto the spirit now, because uh -huh. right now, we're in the nighttime, you know? And, you know, mm -hmm. spiritually, yeah. you know, waiting for the day to arise, you mm -hmm. know, when Yahweh shall return. And, you know, and like, and he's talking about, we're like unto spies, you mm -hmm. know? God. Scouting out the land, you know, mm -hmm. important, being those um, faithful witnesses, you know? I, I got the definition of spy. Okay. The definition of spy is to watch. Stealthily, stealthily, mm, yeah, and that's what the Lord commanded us to be on what on our watch. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, right right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I brought it out. I'm gonna Habakkuk, huh? Habakkuk two, two, yeah. It's another one in um Isaiah 62. Con. 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 I, got, I actually got that right now. Oh, Mr. Spirit, let's get that real quick. Habakkuk, I was in that earlier. Really. Isaiah 62. Mm. You get that first because I got it. Got my, I got it. I get it in now. I got it over to my notes. You got it? Yeah, I'm getting Habakkuk 2. Yep. Yep. Habakkuk 2 and 1. I would watch it, I would stand upon my watch and set me upon the towel and would watch to see what he would say unto me and what shall I answer when I am approved. Another good precept, if I may, Ezekiel 3 and 17. Mm -hmm. Uh real quick. Ezekiel 3 and 17. And it reads. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. God. Therefore, hear the words of my mouth and give them warning from me. You know, so the Lord has made us watchmen in this. You know, and the brother brought out the spy. You know, like the elders always like to bring out. We're like we're, we're spies because we're angels in the flesh. Come you know, on. scouting out the land. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Isaiah chapter sixty-two, verse. Verse 6, it says, uh, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day or night. Hey, that's what's happening right now, man. You got the prophets. Hey, man, this video's popping up day in and day out, man. Day and night, man, which never holding their peace. You know, we're not giving the Lord no rest, man, until he what? Establish the kingdom of, on the earth, man. You know, we're not in this to prophesy on the highways and the hedges forever. Nah, man, we 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 know that the kingdom is coming. We only doing this for a short period of time. Okay. You got some brothers out there that's trying to make this a, a you know be, you know, American Israelites and yeah. shit, man. You know, yeah. and try to yeah. try to make a home in America, and it, that's that's not the that's not the spirit you're supposed to be in, man. Right. All right, we coming to take this land. That's that's the spirit that the Joshua. Uh, was in at that time and all the men that was following him and that's the spirit that we're in we're coming to take this land man we're coming to take jericho mm -hmm. you know and it's mighty they went to a harlot's house and i got a quick pre which is spiritual symbolic to now you know when uh, the mother of harlots babylon and i got the precept uh revelation 17 and 5 for upon her forehead was a name written mm -hmm. mystery babylon the great the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. Hey, it's not a mystery no more. Mm -hmm. Well, because the prophets are exposing it. Mm -hmm. You know, they're lifting up their skirt. Hey, it was a mystery for a long period of time before the spirit was put on the prophets to expose it. Mm -hmm. You know, who people's like, who is the wicked of the earth? Now we know Esau Edom is the wicked of the earth, man. Mm -hmm. 
think uh, the elder did a video about that. He Googled uh, on the Google. He said, who is Babylon the Great? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know? And then yeah. yeah, America showed up. It's mighty because when you read these stories, although these stories literally happen, a lot of these stories that you read in the scriptures is symbolic to what's going to happen in, exactly. in, in times to come. Mm -hmm. You know, but you got to be in the spirit to be able to see that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, that was it on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can go back to it. Though. And real quick, oh, yeah. you know, we brought it out. You know, Jericho means moon, mm -hmm. and uh, Raha mm -hmm. means wide. You know, like you know, wide open. Yeah, yeah. I said. Uh, Joshua chapter 2 verse uh, verse 2 uh, that's where I'm at right yeah. yep. it said uh, and it was told the king of Jericho saying behold there came men in hither tonight of the children of Israel to search out the country see there you go tonight hey mm -hmm. Jericho means moon moon uh, comes up what at night, at night huh? that's when everything start to take place you know at night mm -hmm. you know that's when that's when uh, you know it's time to play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's when the, the, you are attacked. Uh. Hey, the thief come in at what? Hey, at night. At night. night. <laughs> <laughs> that buddy, bro. Yeah. You better keep on your watch. You, yeah. Hey, you will rarely have a thief come in your house at daytime, man. And what that showed that them nation was not on their watch. Exactly. Because yeah. they had a watchman. Because mm -hmm. they had what? Walls. Mm -hmm. So they weren't on their watch. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and the Lord came as a thief in the night on their ass. <laughs> hey, the Lord gonna come back yeah. as a thief, man. Yeah, well, you know. actually, the, uh, he w it was reported that they was, you know, they was on their that watch. they yeah, because it was reported to the king. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So like, it's reported it's like, to the king that these two men was there. You know no, what I'm no, saying? Yeah, yeah, so like, yeah, they was on their watch, mm -hmm. but it didn't matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it didn't matter. You well, know what I'm saying? Because why? He had the harlot there. Yeah. And the which Lord deceived them, you right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, so you gotta go. now I was just saying the Lord was with them. Okay, you know. Mm -hmm. It said, um, uh, "You want to say something?" Else? No, you got it. It says, um, Joshua chapter two, verse three, and the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab, saying, "Bring forth the men that are come to thee, which are entered into thine house, for they be come to search out all the country." Mm. So he knew that what they was there to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, he knew that they, they were just not there to be friends or, you know, sign any treaties or agreements. No, they was coming to scout the land to take it. Right. <laughs> Same thing right now. These mm -hmm. these elites, they know what's our role. Okay. Yep. They know what we what, what's our job as uh -huh. prophets, as men of the Lord. Uh -huh. It's to it's to it's to wait, you know, you know, pretty much stand on our watch to prophesy, mm -hmm. you know. And <laughs> to take it. To yeah, scout the land and take it. Destroy it. Yeah, it's going yeah. to be destroyed. That's it. Uh -huh. I mean, because you know? this is spiritual Jericho as well, too. Okay. You know, yeah. it's going because it's going to fall. That's okay. right. You know? Hey, we're going to take this place, man. This place is going to be a desert. Okay. It's going to be a place that's owned by the Israelites, mm -hmm. man. Because this whole earth is going to be owned and ran by the elect, you okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Who's who's following Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. Okay. You know? Everywhere we step is going to be owned by us, even other planets. Okay. Mighty. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, Joshua 2, verse 4. And the woman took the two men and hid them and said, Thus, there came men unto me, but I wist not whence they were. And what this shows is, you know, when you feel the Lord, the Lord will make you at peace with your enemies. Uh -huh. and who's to say, you know, in these times, hey, do you, some of these heathens are going to be hiding in some of the men of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, we was talking about that before we, you know, turned on the video, man. Hey, the Lord said he's going to make us peace with our enemies. Because okay. believe it or not, some of these Edomites, they, they be watching and they know what we're saying is the truth. Oh, yeah. So who knows, you know, they made the Lord put a spit on them. You'd be on the run, maybe a, a fucking Trump supporter or something mm -hmm. like that. And be like, I got some food. Eh? Come mm -hmm. on, you know, mm -hmm. I've been watching you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord may have us there for a moment, get his food and get up out of there. You feel me? Yep. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. protect us from other Edomites, uh -huh. you know, because you're going to have Edomites out there that try to eat you and shit. Man. Oh, yeah. You know, and that Edomite will protect you from the other group by hiding you from them people. Hey, they showing in the book of Eli. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so they were so yeah. shaking, their hands were shaking. Yeah. Because the people, they ate flesh, so their hands were just shaking and shit. So he knew, man, that he, you know what I'm saying, don't eat none of that. You know? But also shows 
when them other guys rolled up on them, those those two couples that was mm -hmm. eating, they went, they willing to go to war. They, yeah. they was fighting for them. What yeah. happened? Yeah. They got their ass killed. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, Man, they got out. But, but but Denzel and the old girl, they life was spared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And he knew they was gonna get out. Yeah. Denzel was like, "Oh, the Lord ain't say nothing about you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he knew they was gonna make it out. You know, through the faith, man. You know, you got it, it says, um, verse five, and it came to pass about the time shutting of the gate. It says, when it was dark, that the men went out. Whither the men went, I went, I what not. Damn. Pursue after them quickly. For ye shall overtake them. She sent, them. Hey, she sent them on a dummy mission, yeah. man. <laughs> she she played them. Right. And this is this is a person of their nation played them because the spirit of the Lord is on them. God. You know. And it's a woman. Yeah. And shows that you Edomites are finna fail epically, man. A lot of your women gonna turn on you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Ooh. They already doing it right now. Ooh, yeah. You know they see the power you losing. <laughs> Why you think they 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 jumping on the on Jake? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. You know, cause these heathens they know it's your ass is on your way out. Hey, and a lot of these heathens are a bunch of harlots anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and the Lord is going to use this this same situation we're reading in um in, in Joshua, man. It's going to be the same situation to today, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? He's going to use these harlots, man, to hide us. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? To feed us as well, you know, uh -huh. in those times uh, of difficulties, man. Hey, the Lord told us what destroys kings the most is women. It's women, yeah. Huh? You know, God. so this woman just literally destroyed this king. <laughs> <laughs> Several times yeah. in the scriptures have women destroyed kings, man. Uh -huh. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you got it. it says, but she had brought them up to the roof of the house and hid them with the stalks of flax, which she had laid in order upon the roof. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse seven. And the men pursued after them the way to Jordan unto the fords. And as soon as they which pursued after them were gone out, they shut the gate. Mm. Mm -hmm. It said, verse 8, And before they were laid down, she came up unto them upon the roof. And she said unto the men, That I know that the Lord power, Yahweh, <laughs> have given you the land, and that the terror is fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. So mm. she seen how feel hearted they was. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, you know, mm -hmm. she understood like, man, let me try to get on these guys this side God. real quick, man. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> and just like any woman, man, you know, they probably mistreated that broad. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know, you don't even speculate. Because mm -hmm. you got to ask yourself, what would make her do that? Yeah, I mean, outside the fear of the Lord. But, you know, yeah. there's probably was other reasons on why her to betray. Come on. You know? They was, um, they said when the righteous is in authority, I mean, you know, when the wicked is in authority, people, people mourn, mourn, man. I'm sure she was in mourning. Hey, because she probably had, she was having, having to sell her body. Mm -hmm. You Feel know what I'm family. saying? Yeah, exactly. And when she, you got to think, who ruled that land? It was the Canaanites. It was the Canaanites, yeah. And huh? who ruled this land? And who ruled that land right now? The Amalekites, which huh. is, is spirit. They, they, they liken unto the Canaanites. Huh. Huh. Doing all kinds of witchcraft, you know, mm -hmm. odious, uh, Works of witchcraft, God. merciless murders of children. Right. You know, same shit going on. God, you're right. And, and what you're seeing right now, a lot of mm -hmm. Edomite women mm -hmm. are now exposing these what's going on behind oh, the scenes, yeah. man. Oh yeah. You know? Definitely. Definitely. So she 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 pretty much knew that when if they was to get the land, that it was gonna be righteous men running the land. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's right. and, you know, that's what I say to just say that, you know. Right. So she like, hey, I ain't gonna have to sell my body no more. You see what I'm saying? So she understood that, you know? Right, because the Lord is what? Setting up one that is profitable. Profitable. Ooh. God. God. <laughs> God. God. That's mm. what he going to do to America. He going to set up Yahweh Shai, man. Because Esau Edom is not profitable. God. God. So the Lord is going to set up Yahweh Shai to what? To make a profit. Right? The Lord is in, you know, Esau Edom as, man, caused this earth to be in debt. God. You know? So rock 10 and 8 and it reads because of unrighteous dealings mm. injuries and riches got by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another mm. you know and that's what was happening man mm. and that kingdom was going to be you know joshua was bringing in the kingdom man and it was meant to be translated from the canaanites to the israelites man. Mm -hmm. we're gonna jump up verse three an unwise king destroys his people <laughs> through the prudence of them which are in authority 
the city shall be inhabited. Mm -hmm. The power of the earth is in the hands of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. Mm -hmm. right. In due time. Mm -hmm. You know, at the perfect time, he's going to set up one that is profitable, mm -hmm. and he's going to last forever. Yeah. <laughs> but right now, we're scouting out the land. Mm -hmm. there you go. The Lord got the, the soldiers <laughs> on ground, which will be the prophets scouting out. Then he got the aerials, mm -hmm. reconnaissance mm -hmm. with the chariots God. scouting out. God. You know, peeping mm -hmm. out. <laughs> what are we doing? Walking around Jericho. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> over and over. And, you know, we're going to walk around it seven times, man, and it's over. God. You know? Got the definition of reconnaissance. This is a preliminary examination or survey. Mm, survey. Mm -hmm. And it, mm -hmm. what's the scripture say? There's an inquisition being made. Uh, pretty much an investigation. Uh, it's being yeah. made on you fucking Edomites, man. Uh, yeah. Roughly paraphrasing. Yeah. But that's what that word inquisition goes mm -hmm. into. Mm -hmm. Investigation. Because they're on trial, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the evidence is overwhelming, man. Uh -huh. These devils, man. Uh -huh. It says uh, an examination of a territory or enemy position. <laughs> With a view to directing directing military operations. Oh, oh yeah, hey, we coming to take that land. That's yeah. what, that's exactly what's happening. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We're viewing the land. You know what I'm saying. Scoping it out, yeah. seeing who's on it, yeah. seeing how many people we got to slay. Right. See how many women we gonna take. There you go. You know. I see. <laughs> hey, what they say? You're supposed to, uh, what's the scripture? Before you go to war, count up the mm -hmm. cost. Count, count up the yeah, cost, count or up. you know, counsel before you go to war. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. You know, you count up the cost. Country. You just don't just like, we finish this invade. You mm -hmm. don't even do no reason. You don't know their they strength, their mm -hmm. weaknesses. You they know. got guns. You got come with yeah. swords. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they are dead because mm -hmm. you didn't. Right. Because you didn't count up the cost. You didn't survey. Mm -hmm. You got to count up that cost so you can see what you will lose, man. Exactly. Probably. You know, a wise king will go in, you know, seeing if he can get the victory with less loss. Yeah. You know? If yeah. the loss outweighs the victory, typically the king don't move. And you know what this shows uh, real quick? Exodus 15 and 3. Exodus 15 and 3. Uh, 15 and yep, the Lord is a man of war. Yeah. Huh. The Lord is his name. Yeah, how about Shemel is his name, man? You know? Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts have he cast down as the sea. He had chosen captains also. And it's, I mean, it's like his chosen captain also he drowned in the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. You know, so what it shows, hey, the Lord is, is a man of war. Uh -huh. And uh, like we're uh -huh. going to before you go to war, any, any general, mm -hmm. you know, he takes counsel before he goes to war. Then he gives the order. Okay, now, nah, you know, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, yeah, we got him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got these resources. They don't got that. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's time to play. Yeah. You know, because you got a victory in mind. Uh -huh. You're not going oh, yeah. to just go into battle knowing you're going to lose. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anything else? And then one even when I say with the spies, these ones are just two ordinary spies. These was well trustworthy spies. Oh yeah, come. On. You know, just like the men of the Lord with his truth. God. You know, Lord, He's given this mm -hmm. truth to those who He trusts. Mm -hmm. And I'm speaking yeah. to the you know the sincere brothers, mm -hmm. man. You know, the, the those who He trusts. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he, he like a friend. He reveals mm -hmm. his secrets six, yeah. onto his servants, the prophets. The prophets. Yeah. So Lord ain't finna just send out any type of spy, man. Oh yeah. You know, a good, a good account of that, you know, with um with Caleb and um and Joshua. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. They came back with the two they, they technically sent out what spies? Uh -huh. But you had two that came out with a faithful report. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, it's ironic now Joshua being the, right. the king now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean the leader of Israel, you uh -huh. know, technically or well, king, technically. Mm -hmm. He now now he's sending the spies out, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because like we brought out yesterday, man, to be a good um Leader, man, you have to be a good follower, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And 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 uh, Joshua was well worthy enough to be that leader, man, kind of. because he was a great understudy, uh, you know, of Moses, man. You know, right? Well, he was humble. Yeah, and he was humble. Huh? His his humility, you know, exempl exemplified. Him. Like a, 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 you can, and, and when you go more into the account, you go, you gonna see like his yeah. humility. It's crazy, you yeah. know, um, and the the lowest of us shall be what? The one that's the highest exalted. Wow. That's why your Hawashai is in his seat, uh -huh. you know? Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn. That's mighty. Mm -hmm. Come back on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah Joshua. Joshua. Mm -hmm. This is Joshua chapter 2, verse uh, 9. I think we left that at 12. 12? Yeah. Because it says, uh, there's well, no fear in him. 
No, we didn't read. 11, because we read 11 as soon as they heard of these things. Our heart so we read know. the Red Sea and all that? No, it's, uh, you're right. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah you're like, yeah. you're right. Because I was thinking of the other verse. Yeah, you're right. So. Sure. We can start from that verse. 10, right? 9. Nine. 9. Yeah, let's do 9. Yeah, that's the one we read. 10. Nine. Yeah, it's 10. Cool. It's 10, 10. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can read nine again. I'm going to read nine again just in case. It says, Joshua 2 and 9, it says, And she said unto the men, I know that the Lord Yahweh have given you the land, and and that your terror is falling upon us, mm -hmm. and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. Mm -hmm. Verse 10, For we have heard how the Lord Yahweh dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when ye came out of Egypt, and what ye did unto the two kings of the Amorites mm -hmm. that were on the other side of Jordan, Sahan and Og, whom ye utterly destroyed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 11, and, and as soon as we had heard these things, our heart did melt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they was in fear, man. Mm -hmm. And trembled. That dread came upon yeah. them, uh, you know? Because mm -hmm. they knew it's nothing that they can do against the Lord, man. There's nothing Dang. these nations can do against the Lord. I mean, we and that say that that was part of our curse. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That our heart would be uh, failing us. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. We used to have this type of fear upon us, man. Mm -hmm. This is how you know we the people, man, yeah. because hey, they don't fear us like this no more. No. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Because we was disconnected from our power. There you go. But now, yeah. great fear yeah. is fell upon them. We saw them, like the scripture say, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Mm -hmm. come. And they, they made no, and then the great fear fell mm -hmm. upon them that saw them. Come. So come. now these heathens are afraid because they know it was prophesied, in, you know, Ezekiel 37. Yeah. Come. So that's why Esau really, he's going to come down with great wrath because he's scared. Yep. Yeah. You know, that's what this really is. He's coming down with great wrath because he knows his time's up. Yeah, they're hey, they doing it now yeah. with the mm -hmm. shooting, with the police shootings. Come. Come. Hey, this is the same thing your Herod did. You know what I'm saying? In the time when the when the prophets was about to come on the scene again. Yeah, exactly. yeah. You know, he sent out a mass murder on the kids, on yeah. the boys. Yeah. You know? And this is what they doing now. Again, constantly killing us. That's why you see Jake getting shot down because of the fear that Esau has, man. Yeah, and what happened? Yahweh shot had to hide what well, Egypt. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh. You know? That's yeah. that's the same accord. Uh with um with um with Joshua and Joshua. Mm -hmm. Where they where Rahab had to hide them. Yeah. Damn, in Egypt. <laughs> you know, and that's what's going on right now, man. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Now she had them in Jericho. Mm -hmm. Oh, she Jericho. hit him in Jericho. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I know she hit him in Jericho. Oh yeah, but you talking about when Yahweh shot? I'm talking about when Yahweh shot. Yeah, you Egypt. know what I'm saying? He had had to hide in mm -hmm. Egypt. You see what I'm saying? I'm saying we in Egypt right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the spiritual Egypt. Spiritual Egypt. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I believe we have verse twelve, no, uh, eleven. Verse eleven. Yep. Mid verse. It said, uh, "Joshua two. It's a gunshot. Yeah. yeah, it's a gunshot. They got a uh, target. They got a, uh, hmm. a a range of it. Okay. Yeah, it says. Uh, Same close. Yep. All that just the booze. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. It said, and as soon as we had heard these things, our heart did melt." Neither did there remain any more courage in any man mm. because of you. For the Lord power, Yahweh, your power, he is the most high power in heaven above and in earth beneath. It says, now, therefore, I pray you swear unto me by the Lord, Yahweh, since I have showed you kindness, that ye will also show kindness unto my father's house and give me a true token. Mm. Mm -hmm. So she's asking to to be spared, mm -hmm. right? She want a token of exemption. Mm -hmm. All right, and they're gonna give it to her, man. You know why? Cause you you help the prophet, man. You help the people, man. You gonna get blessed. Not Esau, Edom. You can help all you want. You still dead. <laughs> <laughs> you still out of here. Yeah. <laughs> don't, uh, wait, don't they seek it carefully with tears? Yeah. <laughs> the Lord is still killing your ass. Yeah. But these other nations, man, hey, the Lord will look out for you, man. Right. <laughs> the wicked out of here. Uh, yeah, ain't no mercy for you. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no mercy. Because why? You don't show mercy, man. Right. You know? Your ass just hated us from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Jealous ass, man. Yeah, you got it, brother. Yeah, she was pardoned, man. Yeah. She wants that token, that yeah. token of the exemption. 
Let me look up token right quick. Mm -hmm. Let's say a uh, token, a sign, a signal, mm -hmm. a distinguishing mark, a Ooh, mark, that's a mark, it. mark of exemption, exemption like you said, yeah. <laughs> the Tawa. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and Israel like an onto that whore, you Come. know, following idols and the Lord have mercy, you know, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Come. Right. You know, those of you speaking out of the Lord said, a harlot shall enter into the kingdom, mm -hmm. you know. Quick for a hypocrite. Yeah, hypocrite. For a hypocrite with him, yeah. Time. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to Joshua. Chapter 2, verse 13. It says, And that ye will save alive my father and mother and my brethren and my sisters and all that they have and deliver our lives from death. Uh, and it shows that she was a harlot. The little side note shows that more than likely she was selling box to feed her family. Huh. You know? Mm -hmm. And then she was by a wall, you know, a wall, probably a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. You know, guys coming and going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Clientele. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jumping over the wall. Yeah. 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 Box, yeah. Jumping yeah. off the wall. Yeah. Going home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the clientele. <laughs> uh, it says, um, mm -hmm. like an eagle. That dude looks like an eagle, don't it? Oh, that's an eagle? Yeah. And that head, white. Yeah, that's an eagle. Mm -hmm. And he's he's on a prowl too, looking for that's food. That's an eagle doing out here. You think that's an eagle? Yeah, that was an eagle. Cause the head, head was white. Seen the head was white. I ain't, I ain't never seen no. Unless it's another bird. We a lot know of hawks. A lot of hawks. Well, hawks got white heads. Uh, white, white. I think that's a hawk though, cause it's too small to yeah, be an eagle. Yeah, that's a small eagle. Yeah. Yeah, the, eagle. Hmm. Yeah. the eagles live in mountains and range. They live in um. It's eagles out here. It is. Oh, uh, then again, you know, because Esau yeah, purchases his shit and yeah. let him fly. It's eagles out here. Yep. Yeah. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. It says, um, and the men answer her, verse 14, Joshua 2 and 14 says, and the men answer her, our life for yours. Mm -hmm. If ye utter not our business, it says, and it shall be when the Lord Yahweh have given us the land that we will deal kindly and truly with thee. Mm -hmm. Our word means something, man, mm, back in the day. <laughs> you know? Damn. Today, a man's word don't mean shit. Mm -hmm. You know? But our word means something. Hey, the Lord's word means something. That's why all these prophecies are going to happen until the kingdom come, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And then we're going to go back into our, what? Our state again. Mm -hmm. Where we will be perfect in the eyes of the Lord, man. Hey, you got to stand on your word, man. Yeah. Hey, then you how shall say, let your yay be your yay mm -hmm. and your nay be your nay, man. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta pretty much stand on, you know, if you made a treaty like like the brother brought out, you know, Esau man, he 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 made packs and agreements, man, and and, and don't follow through on them, man. Yeah. He did it with Jacob. Yeah, he did it with Jacob. Huh? He sold the birthright then gonna try to say he supplanted it. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you sold it, nigga. Right. Yeah, it takes a different type of loser mm -hmm. to be like Esau, like if he wanted his birthright back, then produce the meat that you bargained exactly. for. Exactly. No, your ass wanted to eat the food and still have your birthright. He's uh. a damn heathen, man. Yeah. Cake and eat it too. Yeah, that's the type of dude he is, man. He's going he gonna to come make a deal with you. Uh. You're going to give him what he asked for. Then he going to whine because, what, he want he wanted his shit back, he but he don't want to give back. you your shit back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, he want his shit and yeah. your yeah. shit, to be honest. Petty. That was that was really his 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 mentality. Mm -hmm. He Petty wanted man. he wanted yeah. you know what I mean. Covet yourself. Yeah, exactly. Covet your spirit. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh yeah, uh -huh. evil covets because the word covet is not necessarily bad. Right. Uh -huh. See, we covet at the righteousness, right. yep. mm -hmm. but this nigga covets at the wickedness, wickedness bro. Mm -hmm. He wants your soul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, brother. Mm -hmm. This is uh, verse fifteen. The heading is the promise to Rahab. It says, then she let them down by a cord through the window for her house was upon the town wall mm. and she dwelt upon the wall. Mm. And she said unto them, get you to the mountain, lest the pursuers meet you and hide yourself, uh, yourselves there three days until the pursuers be returned. And afterward, may ye go your way. Verse 17, and the men said unto her, we will be blameless of this thine oath, which uh, thou hast made us swear. Mm -hmm. It said, behold, when we come into the land, thou shalt bind this line of scarlet thread in the window, which thou didst let us down by. And thou shalt bring thy father and thy mother and thy brethren and all thy father's household home 
unto thee. See that you, you got it, you got it, bro. See they got that mark of exemption, man. Mm -hmm. You know he told them specifically what to do. Set that scarlet mark in the window. You know where it can be noticed, just right. like in the Passover where that mark was set on our doorpost. Mm -hmm. You know where it was noticed. So when that judgment come, <laughs> that that mark is noticed and you're clear. Yeah, man. that death angel will pass over. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. You're cleared from that destruction that's to come, uh -huh. you know, so it shows you throughout history that the law has been given marks of exemption, man, okay. you know, from destruction. Yeah, but that scarlet was one as a, as a derivative of red, red. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. you know? and red symbolizes what? Blood. blood. Uh -huh. That blood on that doorpost, man, yeah. you know, you got it, brother. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like I was just trying to read this in the... Uh commentary but you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. All right, this is Joshua chapter two verse verse nineteen. It said, And it shall be that what that whosoever shall go out of the doors of thy house unto the street, his blood shall be upon his head. And we will be guiltless, and whosoever shall be with thee in the house, his blood shall be on our head. If if any hand be upon him. Mm. See, that's the contract, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and if she followed it, you know, and her people was protected. Okay. Where she would have broke that, they would have been killed, man. Uh -huh. You know, and it shows you how you got to stick to the contract. Oh, yeah. If thou vows a vow. Yep. <laughs> it's better to pay. Better yeah, to pay. it's better to not make a vow uh -huh. than to make a vow and not pay. Exactly. You know? Because uh -huh. mm -hmm. the Lord will have you, you know, had a judgment upon your head, man. <laughs> you know, because he require it now. You know, you, if the Lord is like a the mafia boss, man. Uh, uh. You know, you can't say something to him and you think you're not gonna pay. Because <laughs> hey, once that once that order put out, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Once that hit is put out, <laughs> hey, it's it. It's over. It's a wrap. Yeah. And it shows the mindset of how men supposed to be. Man. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, uh -huh. in this world, everybody renege on their mm -hmm. promise. Right, you know, huh, huh. which is which is very weak and effeminate, yeah, and it creates a system of distrust. Huh. You know, huh. and that's a place because it's really the Edomites run the earth, and he pushed huh. that vibration. Uh -huh. Wall Street, these Ponzi schemes, mm -hmm. you know, they backdooring, back like this, you know. Huh. And now Jake, you are your father, the devil, devil took huh. on the same mindset, man. Huh. You know, huh. I'm fucking look you dead in the eye, tell a straight lie. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> With a exactly. smile on his face. Uh -huh. Yeah. There's some more on that. Yeah, you got mm -hmm. it, <coughs> Yeah, it's um, Joshua chapter 2, verse... <coughs> mm -hmm. Joshua chapter 2, verse 20. Um, Salakia, verse 21. And she said, according to our words, so be it. It said, and she went and she sent them away and they departed. And she bound the scarlet line in the window. Mm -hmm. And they went and came into the mountain and abode there three days until the pursuers were returned and the pursuers sought them throughout all the way, be found them not. Mm -hmm. I mean, Slaka, but found them not. Oh, that's going to happen in these times, mm -hmm. man. They're going to be trying to look for the men of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Some of them they're going to catch, you know, for the sake of prophecy to mm -hmm. be martyred. Mm -hmm. You know, and the Lord going to give them brothers, you know, you know, it could be us. You never know. Give us, you know, brothers mighty spirits to go through that. Mm -hmm. And then some you ain't going to catch. A lot of you ain't going to be able to catch mm -hmm. the men of the Lord, you know. Mm -hmm. The Lord going to be hiding, you know, in yeah. those times, man. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Esau going to be sending his robo-dogs, his oh. Gurkha troops out at night with their night vision goggles. Mm -hmm. And none of that shit gonna work. They ain't gonna be able to see. They gonna have the robo dogs looking and shit. Right. With their night vision, we're gonna be right next to them. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they still can't see us. You know, because that's how the Lord protect us. Right in the in the middle of adversity, the Lord will protect you. Yeah. Just to show that he's with you. Right. You'll yeah. see the dog, the dog will look at you and then look away. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit mm -hmm. like that happens. Yeah. You know? Yeah, brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says, um, verse 23. So the two men returned and descended from the mountain and passed over and came to Joshua, the son of Nun, and told him all things that befell them. <laughs> it said, and they said unto Joshua, truly the Lord Yahweh hath delivered into our hands all the land. Mm 
Yeah, he came back with a faithful yeah, report. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah, you know, Joshua was pleased because yeah, yeah. he remember he came back with a faithful mm -hmm. report. Time, time. He probably sitting there listening, like mm -hmm. proud yeah. of you, young guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what's up, man. You know, mm -hmm. hey, because as a prophet, which he was. He knew that they was going to come back with it regardless. Mm -hmm. You know, because he, the Lord already told him the land was here. Yeah. You know, so if they would have came back with a different report, he would have been like, hmm. Yeah. yeah. You, you off. Yeah, <laughs> you're <laughs> along with you. Yeah, yeah. Instead of rub his beard, yeah. like, hold on. <laughs> yeah, because he said the land. Are you already, in the right? spirit? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he, he pretty much knew it all. Exactly. He knew what he was going, he was sending them to mm -hmm. go. Look for winning, mm -hmm. and you got to, think, <laughs> to be tasked with that job. That's a mighty yeah. job. Oh yeah, and an army. Oh, yeah. That mean you. That mean them two guys won just ordinary. No, no. they had to be the top of the top. Yeah, and yeah. they those trusted men. Yeah, they had to be uh, well trained, agile. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Discipline. Because uh -huh. what they had to. What if they had to escape mm -hmm. or put some people to death to get to get back? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know. Uh -huh. So they had to be ready. Before they came into her house, they had to have been moving around anyway. Mm -hmm. And what the scripture that come to my mind is being wise as a serpent. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and harmless yeah. as a dove, man. Mm -hmm. Pretty much being wise as a serpent, man, and harmless as a dove is you you keeping away from trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? You had to be pretty much incognito. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Says, yeah, yeah, you know. Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they got it from. They got it from the scripture said Jacob is the form, form of, all of all things. things. Come, come. They got it from us, man. All of that, come. man. You know. Yeah. yeah. All of the every last tactic that they got, they got it from either Gad, mm -hmm. from some Israelite, man. Uh. Hey, cause what they got, it's a it's a sand in the army. If you know if you've been in the army or any military, you know any training exercise. If you're in the field, they make you get up, mm -hmm. like right before the sun come up. Mm -hmm. Because why is that? It was uh, the Native Americans attacked. Yep. You know the pretty much U.S. Army or cavalry mm -hmm. troops at, at night. That time. When right, right when they in the dead of sleep. Because uh -huh. you got to think three, four in the morning. More than likely, people in REM sleep. Yeah. Come, come. Deep yeah. sleep. And now they're getting stabbed, yeah. walking yeah. up, they, like dying right. and screaming. Come. Hey, that's when Esau when he do his rage, man. He do it at that's night. Right. He do them. Shit, he doing when you deep sleep like four, three, four in the morning. Come when they indict. Yeah, when, when they, they do, when they, when they do that, when they when they come and kick that door in, it's gonna be around that time. You know what I'm saying? Cause they were gonna catch you off guard, pretty yeah. much. Your draws. Yeah, right. with <laughs> everything by you and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? You know, mm -hmm. So that was it on that. That was it. Uh, I got one more. Okay, go. Ahead. One more. Uh, Oh no, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's okay, it. so um, brothers got anything else? Any precepts? Anything? Yeah. All right. So with that, we're gonna end it by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakadash. All right, double honors once again to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom, Juan, once again to the elect. Hopefully, this was edifying. All right. Um, why? 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 Why?